very good day to you people my name is Mohitan guys today I'm gonna show you how to make just a 13 line of sound slider guys the code that is in front of you uses the slider component uh, in F Adobe Flash Professional CS 5.5 is such a short code guys and it works pretty effectively let me show you a published preview before I actually start explaining how I actually th did all this so guys that's control enter on my keyboard to test the movie and guys uh, as you can probably hear that uh, we have the volume at 50% but when I slide the slider component towards the right the volume is at full blast and uh, when I take it towards the left the volume drops and uh, that's a mute guys that's 50% that's 100% right so basically guys what I've done is I've used the slider component which comes with flash that's a windows components and then I pulled up the slider component right so guys uh, now is the time ripe to explain how things were done what I'll be doing is I'll be reconstructing the stage uh, reconstructing the library okay but I'll be leaving the actions panel just the way it is once I'm done with the stage in the library guys then I'll explain the action script to you cool so guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, select the slider component hit delete I'm gonna select the text field hit delete I'm gonna go to the library and then guys I'm gonna delete everything one by one and that's it right so basically in this project guys the only thing that I'm left with is the actions panel which contains the action script just 13 lines of action script guys with two blank lines <laughs> amazing okay so such a short code firing of a sound slider isn't that awesome guys I think it is All right so guys uh, now let me start from scratch the first thing guys uh, that I want to do is I wish to bring in some sound that I need to play and the way to do it is I need to say a file and import import to library okay I have this uh, sound which is some uh, soothing piece of music that I'm gonna import to the library guys before I can actually pull up any music through the action script and play it I need to do an AS linkage or action script linkage let's see how I can actually do that I need to say right click I need to go to properties I need to select the action script tab that's that's because I'm using um, Adobe flash professional CS 5.5 you could be using version 5 and it could be slightly different out there okay then I need to check this on and then I need to give a class name so I can actually pull the sound using the class name and I'm gonna call it music keeping things very simple guys and then okay ignore the warning say okay once again guys now the AS linkage is complete which means I can pull this sound through the action script and play it great okay now guys what I need to do is I need to go to Windows go to components and pull out the slider component like so great okay uh, I find the slider component is a little smaller in size in width rather so I'm gonna increase the width to let's say a 200 cool right okay guys I would want to give this uh, slider component a name and I'll call it uh, SC S for slider C for component underscore MC for movie clip great let me test uh, okay it's pulling up an error because uh, we need a text field as well moreover guys when I select the slider component here in the components parameters I have got uh, many parameters like direction enable live dragging maximum min snap interval tick interval and value the first thing that I would want to change is the value I would want the value to be right in the center of the middle okay not too loud n uh, not mute as well so that's a 50% volume since I want to play the song at 50% volume I would want to keep the value for the slider component at 50% as well so the values range from 0 to 10 I'm gonna keep it at 5 right and guys the moment I hit enter you should see that uh, the slider is now bang in the center of the groove where it slides great 
okay which basically means that uh, whatever this slider component will be used for will be at 50% intensity or 50% size all right but it will be at 50% great also guys um, let me keep the snap interval at point 0.1 okay um, that will ensure that when I'm moving the slider it's pretty smooth and not very jumpy the default is pretty jumpy guys but I would want the slap in, uh, you know snap interval to be at point 0.1 that will ensure that when I move the slider left and right it will be a smooth movement great all right uh, what else yep I would need uh, I would need a, a, a text wheel so I'm gonna hit the text tool guys and then making sure that the font is ravy but you could uh, select any other font that's absolutely all right guys but I, I, I somehow like this font a lot so I'm gonna draw a text field all right and I'm gonna name this text field volume underscore txt great let me just take the slider a little down as well as the text field towards the bottom all right this sh this looks fine to me great so guys this is the slider component this is the text field cool and uh, let me test it once again to see if everything uh, is fine yep uh, with the exception that uh, flash is prompting me to embed the fonts so that this message won't appear again and again so what I'll do is I'll select the text field and click on the embed button okay and in the dialog box that appears I'm gonna choose character ranges all say okay and I'm done guys all the f you know the ravey font is now embedded if I test the movie now the output message that used to come out here will not appear anymore great awesome so guys I'm able to manipulate the volume through the slider component and uh, that's because of all the magic that's lying in the action slider guys uh, let me show you the timeline as well the timeline contains one single layer where all the assets as well as the action scripts uh, you know script is residing but ideally you should separate the two you should have a separate action layer um, and a separate layer for your assets or different assets but for convenience sake I've just kept them all uh, on one single frame but that's not a good habit guys anyways so guys let's check this uh, 13 lines of action script all right minus two lines these minus two blank lines so effectively it's just 11 lines of action script great guys the first thing that I've done in line number one is I've imported the slider event uh, class okay class is nothing but building blocks to the code right they're pre-written programs by flash now in line number three guys I'm declaring a variable my song which is holding the new music and if you remember the guys the music is nothing but the soothing music dot mp3 uh, we did the AS linkage just a while back and here's the embedded uh, phone guys this is the slider component great right so basically uh, the variable my song is now holding the music which is the soothing music mp3 great now guys I've created I've created another variable called my channel of the type sound channel now guys you need a channel to play your song you need a channel to play your song okay and uh, the channel has been named my channel then I've created yet another variable called my transform guys and this variable my transform uh, is holding the volume intensity okay so I've declared two variables my channel and my transform the channel variable is a variable that is required to play the sound inside the channel the other variable uh, called my transform is required to hold the sound intensity guys great and guys flash says that when you need to play the sound in the channel the way to do it is make the channel equal to 
the variable that is holding the song dot play method and I've passed in two parameters guys this is the starting point and this is the number of loops so I would want my song to start from the very beginning the music to start from the very beginning but loop 10 times the reason for that is that the music that I'm playing is pretty pretty short guys it's hardly a few seconds I'm looping it again and again alright and then guys if you remember SC underscore MC's slider component underscore movie clip is, is nothing but the instance name of the slider component that we had brought over onto the stage from Windows components right and I've added an event listener it's a slider event guys and on every thumb drag so while I'm actually dragging the thumb on the slider okay something is happening and that something is a function which is change volume so every time the thumb is being dragged on the slider this function change volume is getting fired off and this function guys is then storing the volume in my transform variable through the volume property and which is then being equal to sc underscore mc dot value basically the value of the slider sc underscore mc is the slider component guys and the value of that okay so it the value is between 1 and 10 guys 0 and 10 rather so whatever the the value of the slider that's being fed to my transform my transform is through the volume property holding the volume okay and then guys what I've done in line number 11 is my channel which is the channel where the music is playing through the sound transform property I made it equal to my transform okay so the music which plays in the sound channel is getting transformed and being made equal to my transform volume right and then guys uh, if you remember I'd created a, a text field and I'd called it volume underscore uh, text through the text property is being made equal to um, volume is plus sc underscore mc dot value and sc underscore mc dot value is nothing but the volume of uh, you know the value of the slider component plus I'm adding this small uh, text which is volume is so guys that's it pretty short and pretty smart I suppose so control enter uh, to test the movie once again and yes pretty effective as well guys so let me know how you uh, found it guys I hope you learned something from it I hope you enjoyed it too guys um, I'll see you next time with yet another flash and action script 3 tutorial you have a good day guys peace bye bye